time limit had expired. Bishop Jean-Louis Pluff of the Diocese of Sault Ste. Marie says in the end, what it boiled down to was a matter of timing. When some decided to, to appeal the decision, well, the time had expired. So it's a question of law. I mean, church law from some aspects is very similar to civil law. I mean, you have a particular time to appeal things. If now you run out of time, well, I mean, then the procedure overrides anything. The bishop says there are enough Catholic churches in North Bay to meet the needs of parishioners, even without Corpus Christi and St. Rita's parishes. A group of former parishioners disagree and appeal the decision. They're still waiting for official word from Rome. It's not fair that one party hear that the news and the other party doesn't hear the, the news. So uh, I'm very disappointed. Not all doors have been closed. An appeal can still be made to the highest court in the Catholic Church. Apostolica signature, the, ap the apostolic signature, and then they they would decide whether I mean they are willing to entertain this uh, particular to appeal. Zimbalotti says the group will meet to decide how to proceed. He hopes the delay in getting their official decree won't result in another missed deadline. Our hope is that uh, we find out something concrete soon that we're not going to miss the deadline again. Bishop Pluff says this has been both a painful and confusing time for all concerned. He says he hopes the Vatican's decision will be the beginning of a healing process. Linda Holmes, CTV News, North Bay. Controversy and confusion still cloud the closure and sale of two very prominent Catholic churches in our community. And the former chair of the Corpus Christi Parish Council, Philip Penna, is still waiting to hear from the higher-ups in Rome for the situation to finally be resolved. We have not yet received a response from the Congregation for the Clergy. Uh, we are expecting it to come in the mail uh, from the Office of the Papal Nuncio in Ottawa, but in, we have not, we've not received that yet. Neither the appellant group from Corpus Christi nor the appellant group from St. Vita's. What it means is that we don't know what the decision actually is. We know that the bishop has issued a media release stating that we have been denied and that's all that's in the media release. The reasons for the, uh, the decision was that, uh, that we, were, we appealed too late. That there's a certain time period with which we appeal and that we appealed too late. That's what he says. Uh, we need to see the decree before we can actually comment on that and to know exactly what the decision was. Well, the St. Vitus has not been sold. St. Vitus has not been sold. Corpus Christi has been sold. And for the appeal for Corpus Christi, what we've been arguing is that it's an, it was an illicit sale and needed to be reversed. And if it couldn't be reversed, then the assets of, of, the, of the former parish, including the assets from the sale, need to go to St. Vitus because it's the closest church to, to Corpus Christi. And our, we could meet the spiritual needs of the people in the neighborhood better that way. Um, St. Rita's is a separate appeal. They're two different appeals. St. Rita's appeal, uh, it effectively blocked the sale. It effectively blocked the sale of St. Rita's because during the process of appeal, there's, you cannot sell the sacred items, right? You cannot sell the sacred property. And so it's been effectively stopped. And uh, as I said in our media release from yesterday, that we're in a, we have the right to appeal this decision from the Congregation of the Clergy, and therefore the bishop cannot continue to, cannot, to must not sell the church of St. Rita's. Otherwise, there's an abrogation of our rights. There's a compromise of the, of the church judicial system and the legal system. It's a, it's a legal process and, and that needs to be respected.